Rossi! Look who's Rossi! Come here! Come on! Good boy! I'm Anthony Carino. I've built and renovated hundreds of homes over the last decade. My next project, though, is something very personal. I'm taking an old firehouse in Jersey City, and I'm converting it into a home. My home. This is the Build TV, the firehouse project. It's insane! Living in a city, outdoor space comes at an ultimate premium. So to know that I have the ability to get a roof deck onto this firehouse, I am super, super stoked. So I've been fortunate to have outdoor space at a number of different apartments I've lived at over the years. But the one thing that always drove me nuts is that you had to go up the stairs to get to that roof deck. But when you're carrying tray after tray of hot dogs, hamburgers, drinks, up, then you gotta clean up, bring everything down. It gets super cumbersome to really use that roof deck as an extension of your home. So with the flipped floor plan we're designing here at the firehouse, our living area is upstairs, our master suite is downstairs. That means the indoor kitchen and the outdoor kitchen are gonna be right next door to each other. Originally, when this was my office, these were the actual offices. So all of that has got to get demolished and we start from scratch. This right here was my office. I sat here every day. A little different now. Demo is underway. A question. When oh, we yeah, do the deck, good. if you want to drop this deck, right, but are we going to have to remove this? No. So then why are you dropping it? All right, let me explain something here. So when we were using the firehouse as our office, we did frame in a deck. When we framed it in, we had two different levels on that deck and it made the deck really unusable. The low point is back here and the high point is over here. Right. So because of the high point, like as soon as you take three boards up, you're gonna see everything. So the number one thing I want to accomplish with this roof deck is having it be one continuous surface. And on top of that, I wanna do three sides of privacy fence to really finish off the look. I wanna design in a full outdoor kitchen, a lounging area, and a full dining area. All right, so lots changed out here. We demoed the entire existing deck and the framing. Originally, we were gonna reframe this deck. And in order to get it to be one continuous level, we were gonna drop the ceiling height of the rental unit below. Then I remembered there was this product I used on another job. This is Bison Pedestal System. The pedestals allow you to get within one inch, which is exactly what I have over in that high point in the roof. So I'm gonna be able to get one contiguous surface of roof deck without having to reframe this. And then, of course, the piece, the resistance of the roof deck, two and a half feet off the back of the building, outdoor kitchen. The guys from Urban Bonfire are gonna be doing that. They have an absolutely incredible product. One of the major things that's changing out here as well, I'm doing full width doors in each of these locations. Renewal by Anderson is doing those. So this door is gonna be a right hand that opens all the way this way. And then this door, again, will be a single door, opens fully this way. Even though I really wanna get going on this roof deck, I don't have any inspections I need to worry about here, which means this is not in the critical path of construction. If you're not in the critical path, meaning something that can hold you up from finishing your job, no matter how excited you are, you gotta just let this be a little bit of a flex in the schedule because it doesn't have a critical impact on our overall construction schedule. So we will get to this real soon. All right, so roof deck, we got started yesterday. First step was to place the bison pedestals, making sure they were all level. Basically, what you do is you keep adding leveling feet based on the pitch of your roof and face the little arrows toward the roof drain. That will ensure that each pedestal is perfectly level. And then you can put your Kumaru or Ipe decking on top. Your framing and your finished decking material are kind of going in in one process. So what takes the most amount of time is this this absolute, this first uh, run, because you're leveling everything from your high point to your low point. You're getting everything worked out, making sure you're totally dialed. And then it's more of a paint by number, kind of matching up to the row before, making sure everything's nice and level in both directions. And you just keep cruising. We should be three quarters, maybe even get the whole thing done if it really starts flowing for them. One thing I did want to note, Rossi's dog door. 
So the basic idea behind this dog door, we want Rossi to have the ability to go outside even when JC and I are out of the house for work. Really excited about it. We've got that little landing area inside. I went with a anodized aluminum. So basically the way this works is there's magnets here um, and it's, uh, it's a flexible rubber door. There's also the same exact thing on the inside. We'll see, stay tuned for the test. Uh, we are making awesome progress on the roof deck. So once we're done with the deck, then the two side fences and the rear fence go up. After that, outdoor kitchen goes in and we have a legit roof deck. All right, so the roof deck is totally done. Now we're gonna get started on the privacy fence. Now, what we did with the fence here on this side, and on this side, we went with four by four posts. And on the street side, we went with six by six posts because on the street side, I have Ife on both the street side of the post and on my interior roof deck side of the post so that it looks nice from both sides. We went with half inch spacing. I like the light leak that comes through. I like being able to peek out on the street simply using half inch spacers. It keeps everything absolutely picture perfect. And this outdoor space is, is really coming together. This week, everything is locked and loaded out here. So we're finally ready to install the outdoor kitchen. Basically what we're looking at is outdoor kitchen from Urban Bonfire. Uh, these guys are based in uh, Montreal, Canada. It is a super high quality product. The best way I could put this is this is the equivalent of an indoor kitchen built for the outdoors. So this stuff is marine grade aluminum, powder coated both inside and out, stainless steel legs. And the beautiful thing about this is everything is one, completely customizable, and two, modular. Meaning once you've got something set up, you can add on to it over time. So you really have a completely custom outdoor setup. Let's do it. So the key with any install, galley part of the kitchen is 100% installed. So really, really pleased with where we're at. Uh, the cold does not slow us down. If anything, this kitchen just makes it feel like a spring day. Cannot wait to be out here enjoying it. Uh, super impressed with the build quality on the Urban Bonfire cabinets. And uh, just can't wait to get it finished up. The roof deck is almost complete. We don't have all the furniture yet. We don't have the appliances in the kitchen yet. But I gotta show this space to JC. Holy crap, the whole kitchen's in. Yeah. <gasps> we have privacy panels. Wow. Beautiful. Wait, that's our That's our cooking door. Go ahead, open oh it up. Oh my God, I know, it's so cool. Go ahead, open it all the way up. Look at that. That is so cool. So you're cooking in there and I'm cooking out here. I can't believe how much you've accomplished. Rossi boy! Rossi! Good boy! That's a good boy. Success! Come here! Ross, come on! I found an amazing modern doghouse because the aesthetic was perfect for here. And I figure since JC and I are getting this brand new place, Rossi deserve one too. So we're gonna get this thing put together. You ready? This is gonna be super easy. Like this. It's all done, bud, come here. Look, what's this? What's this? So Rossi got his own new house and we got the outdoor furniture delivered. The roof deck is done. It looks absolutely incredible. Welcome to the roof deck. This is a special space. I am super, super excited because the indoor kitchen is three feet away from the outdoor kitchen. So we have these two beautiful doors by Renewal by Anderson. One comes straight through from galley to galley for the kitchens. The other comes through the dining room right out to the entire entertaining space. This kitchen is an absolute showstopper. The guys from Urban Bonfire make ridiculously high quality product. This is all marine grade aluminum. All of the hardware here is 304 stainless. That is the best stainless steel you can get. Super durable, completely weatherproof. So for the outdoor kitchen, I went with the Kohler Purist Semi-Professional Faucet and the 33 inch prolific sink, just like I did for the indoor kitchen. And when we're talking about resiliency, there's nothing like the Sapien Stone countertops. Freeze-thaw stable, UV stable, 
indestructible. Last but not least is the furniture out here. The folks at Article, they just do such a great job. So we went with the 88 inch sofa. We went with the 36 inch coffee table, the two chairs on the opposite side, and then the loungers in the back. Fire pit is from EcoSmart. That is something I have had for a long time and absolutely love. It's a biofuel that goes in there. I cannot wait to fire up this grill, get some friends over, and really enjoy some time in this brand new outdoor space. What are these things? It's a company called Let Us Grow. So you subscribe and they send you little seedlings. So there's a pump in here with a PVC yep. pipe. Yep. Pumps the water up. Dude, awesome. So they tell you what level the plant goes on. Yep. Based on how much water it needs. Every 30 to 45 days, you have enough food to make your own salads. Oh, I'm getting this. It's I'm sick. getting this. Yeah. Coming up this season on The Build TV. We go room by room to show you what it takes to convert this old firehouse into a home. Wow. Subscribe or follow at thebuild.tv to make sure you don't miss any episodes.